Hi YouTube, Think Vesting here. I've been very happy uh, this week. Um, nothing, uh, nothing eventful and interesting in gold, but um, I've been very happy because uh, we've been treated to uh, a lot of uh, gold nuggets um, of uh, life learning from uh, members of the precious metals community. Um, some people might think that um, what we're doing is for rich people or what we're doing is easy and um, I, I like how uh, the precious metals community members have shown that um, even average people um, can take uh, positive and active steps towards uh, storing wealth um, but um, I'd also like to be able to share uh, my story with the community and um, like others I'm also an, a very average kind of person um, um, by any means I, I, I don't have a business I actually uh, work as an employee um, what you see before you is actually um, just my um, house emergency stuff um, because um, my viewpoint is that um, precious metals um, can put my family at risk and so my family being more important than precious metals I've, I've made sure that the precious metals have been secured in a safe facility um, uh, so that uh, as to not endanger my family in any way um, what I'd like to share is um, my story on um, how I've uh, uh, slowly been able to um, not, not just store wealth but um, build wealth and I just wanted to walk you through um, my thought process um, this is not to advise you to do the same but um, it has worked for me and um, um, I'm hoping you might be able to take something away from it um, and and so um, the way we've been able to um, grow wealth is uh, mostly through rental property um, if you've been sub to my channel, um, most of you know that I, I also advocate um, having a diversified portfolio. And so I'm a, a major portion of our portfolio is not actually in uh, precious metals. It's actually in property, in rental properties. Um, so why exactly why exactly did you go into rental properties and my thought process was if somehow um, uh, I passed away I wanted to be able to build a system that um, my wife and my kids um, could operate easily and um, could generate cash flow from them for them um, in a reliable manner um, because these were my objectives um, I arrived at the conclusion that um, rental properties um, were a good vehicle or was one vehicle for me to um, achieve my goals and so um, I started out with one um, we would slowly build that and um, my girlfriend then who is my wife now also built um, and invested in uh, into small rental properties and I mean these are small and so we started out and I didn't even have the money to put in as a down payment for this um, condo unit and that's normally a uh, twenty percent. Uh, 
serendipitously um, the property was that I was eyeing um, suddenly had a promotion where um, well, I didn't need to pay the down payment but my down payment would be stretched out um, uh, with four uh, payments due every year so my down payment was like five percent five percent five percent five percent split across four years and so I just man needed to manage uh, my monthly payments and I needed to make sure that um, somehow uh, by the by end of the year that I would have enough cash to cover that 5% portion of the down payment um, to cut the long story short um, I had to sacrifice um, four Christmases or well, five in fact because I, I needed to pay start paying um, around the Christmas season and um, I had to sacrifice five Christmases where I I was having the simplest Christmas um, um, ever but I was patient with myself and I knew that I was going in the right direction because um, these things were generating wealth for me and I knew that in the end um, when I had a family, these things would um, generate wealth for my family. So um, from one unit, and uh, my wife also invested in one unit, from our one unit, we grew it and grew it to, to an extent where um, one of us now can probably retire and not have to worry about um, Having to go to work for a, for a salary, um, and so I'm I'm giving myself a few more years. Um, we we're, we're probably we're not wealthy by any means. We're not super rich, but um, we're well on our way to being financially free. Um, one of the things I'd I'd like to share with you is. Um, um, I've noticed that a lot of um, silver stackers have um, always said, "No, um, I I want to invest in silver because I I can't invest in gold because it's too expensive." Um, one of the things I've I've learned in life is, um, you know, even the biggest goals are all achievable if you can. Um, chop those things up, that big goal, into smaller goals that you can manage on a periodic basis. So even at that point in time when um, I can afford that property based on what I earned, um, when it came to a point where I could divide everything easily, so when I'm looking at a property, I'm not looking at one million. I, I now look at that okay how much cash flow is this gonna is this gonna prop is this property um, gonna cost me and how much cash flow do I expect from that property so um, it's the same um, in life if you whether you think you can do it and whether you think you can't do it um, you're you're going to you're correct in both in both ways um, I mean if you prefer to um, store your wealth in silver there's nothing wrong with that uh, you can still continue stacking and um, your main stack can be silver that's not a that's not a problem but if you're stacking silver um, mainly because you think you can't invest in gold um, I would again like to uh, raise a challenge for you where um, you challenge yourself to towards a gold goal um, sometime that uh, sometime do, uh, doable sometime within the year 
So for example, for me, I, I can't readily buy one ounce on just on my salary. I can't buy one ounce per month. I actually need to wait several months. Um, but that's part and parcel of the challenge. And, um, you know, part of investing is really being patient. Um, and that's how we build wealth. So I'd like to challenge um, everyone, if you think, um, uh, if in your head, um, maybe um, one-tenth is too easy, then maybe you'd go for one-fourth, or maybe one-half. If you think maybe one-fourth is um, easy, then you go for maybe one-half or one-ounce. Stretch yourself, guys, and uh, give yourself a, a bit of a challenge. Um, so that you can uh, just break free uh, mentally from saying that you can't to saying that you can and afterwards um, should you still choose to stack silver that's fine because then um, that's a conscious choice but then you know that you can stack gold also and that um, with patience and hard work, you can also build directly, uh, you can invest directly in gold. Um, so that's it for uh, this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly uh, subscribe. Um, you can rate, comment um, in the space below. As always, I'd like to wish everyone continued prosperity and success. and. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the in the next videos. Bye.